This is the Barrier Pipe Treatment Works at Killybegs, Donegal, Ireland. Barrier processed 7,000 pipes stored on this 20,000 square metre site. The system was designed and developed by Barrier. The first operation carried out is to remove rust, scale and any dust and debris from the inside of the pipes prior to grit blasting and painting. The amount of scale on these pipes can be quite extensive and on this project in Ireland 26 tonnes of material was removed. To purge the mill scale dust and debris, a high pressure water jet system is run through the pipes with a pressure of 14,000 psi. Each pipe is cleaned four times using a rotation system which drives itself through the pipe, 165 degree back nozzles pushing it forward. The operator pulls the unit back through the pipe and the process is repeated. All of the water and debris cleared from the pipe is eventually uplifted into a sump tank and disposed of by proper means. If a site has a lack of available water, bowsers can be brought in to supply the water jet. The pipe is now cleaned and ready for the blasting process. Grit blasting is a difficult operation, especially where there is barely two metres to manoeuvre, making space very tight. A lightweight, weatherproof scaffold structure is used to cover the row of pipes to be serviced. A dust extraction system is first attached to the rear end of the pipe, so that when blasting starts, the dust created and grit used can be collected safely, ready for recycling and reuse. The front end of the pipe is where a hoist is used to lift the blasting machine into position. The unit is electrically driven in at a low speed with a blasting nozzle rotation of 110 revolutions per minute and a linear speed of 1 meter per minute. It takes 12 to 15 minutes to clean one pipe, with the blasting only taking place on the upstroke. All the dust and grit passes into a cyclone separation tank. The heavier grit particles are cleaned and fall to the bottom into a storage bay where they are gathered for reuse. The dust and debris passes to a dust collection chamber by means of a 10,000 CFM dust extractor where it is then appropriately disposed of. Two 825 CFM compressors are used for each of two concurrently operated blasting machines. In order to ensure any dry air passes into them, an 1800 CFM dryer removes moisture from the air before it enters the system for the purpose of keeping everything perfectly dry. Once the pipe is blast cleaned, the machine is reversed out with the grit switched off so that the clean air is expelled up the pipe to remove any remaining particles. Once the machine comes to the end of its cycle, the operator stops it at the control panel and it is moved away from that pipe onto the next. Similarly, the extraction pipe is placed onto the next pipe in line. Caps are put onto the completed pipe and so the process continues. The painting process is performed using an air-driven machine which, like the blasting machine, drives itself up the pipe. On the upstroke it travels up the pipe at a fast speed of 5 to 6 metres per minute and has an air jet at the front which clears any final dust particles.
At the far end of the pipe, an operator monitors its progress and gives a call to stop once it reaches the end. The spray head protrudes slightly and a sleeve is placed around the end of the pipe to prevent overspray. Instruction is given to start the paint, rotate the nozzle and the machine commences its reverse down the pipe. It proceeds at a known speed, dispersing a known volume of paint to a known thickness, on average 100 micron. On the reverse stroke, the supply pipes have to be kept taut to ensure no blockages can occur which would mean the system would need to be stopped and the entire process repeated. To stop blockages, bore inline filters are used so no matter what paint is used, it won't stop the operation from working. Prior to the machine being moved to the next pipe, the wet sleeve is removed and a different sleeve is applied, so the machine will run over the dry side, which prevents cross-contamination, and the process is repeated. The pipe is now fit for storage for two to five years. Pipe identification is reapplied once the paint has dried, so there is traceability throughout and the information is recorded. This is a completed pipe row of some 1300 pipes, which are finally recapped so there is no ingress of moisture or dirt. The scaffolding is uniquely designed so manoeuvrability is quick and the engineering of the hoist is built right into the scaffold. The wheels allow the scaffold to be moved quickly along the row. Once each area is completed, the scaffold can be moved to the next within two hours. This allows for very little downtime in the process. Habitually wet conditions on this site meant that dehumidifiers powered by 250 kilowatt generators were used and the process would not have been allowed on a daily basis without them. The paint tins are finely compressed and stacked and disposed of accordingly.